Hi everyone, a uh, real quick video here on how to get inventor files over to Illustrator to then be lasered. Okay, so what I have here is a document I made um, with some spinners that I want to laser out of wood and finish them off that way. Uh, no matter what happens in Inventor, you have to end up at a document. And if I had 3D modeled these spinners, which I did, um, I would just be placing my view here, a base view that shows me this 2D view of each part, and that's what I'm hoping to cut out in the end. Uh, if you're doing decorative things in a, to laser with Inventor, uh, you're just going to start actually on a document, and you'd click the S key to create a sketch that belongs to the paper space. And you can see my major grid, and you know I could write some font here. Best spinners ever. And that might be some font or decoration that I actually want on a piece of wood when I'm going to go laser everything out. Um, a lot of times people just do decorative patterns, uh, acrylic that we're going to edge light. You might just do everything actually right on document space. And you can create a piece of paper that represents the, the wood or plastic or anything that you're going to be working with down the road. No matter what, though, we need some kind of image whether it's generated from 3D parts or you just simply sketch and create it, it has to be done on document space or paper space. So I have my my spinners ready to go, my font, whatever it happens to be. Any line on the paper, the laser will want to work with. And I don't want a border, title block, all those things. So what I'll do is go over to my browser and I'm going to right click and delete the border. I'm going to right click and delete the title block, the TB version, whatever it happens to be. And there we go. These are just the items I want to work with on the laser. I have that set up. I go to the file menu. I export as a PDF. And I just get make sure that I'm putting it where I know it needs to be. Your name, all the folders you're organizing it by, and so on and so on. And that's it for Inventor. Let's go ahead and launch Adobe Illustrator, which most people are going to find by using the Start button here. Adobe Illustrator. All right, so Adobe Illustrator started for us. We can do a File Open. And we're going to look for that PDF that we just created from Inventor. And there it is. Alt and Roller are Zoom and pan and left click are how we pan around the view. So I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit. The first thing you have to do every time you open a PDF is go over to our Layers button. We're going to expand Layer 1. We're going to expand any clip groups we have. And we're going to highlight Clipping Path and delete it. This little trash can down there. I'll close that group. Expand this group, highlight clipping path, delete it. Go ahead and close the group. Uh, the clipping paths are just something that kind of groups everything together. We need to delete that if we're going to modify anything here. The biggest thing we do for modifying is if we are doing cutting, we need line weights to be a .001. So I'm going to put a box around these items. It highlights everything. Here's my line weight icon. And right there, highlight point zero zero one enter. And if I just click back off in the space, it looks like something got messed up. But if I actually zoom in or zoom back out, depending on your graphics, it's all still there. And you can highlight it to still see it. What we need is just a hair line, like a super, super thin line to do the cutting. And my font, to just be another example, um, you know, I might just leave that alone and that'll just, it would create that font that I'm looking for. Uh, cutting is called vectoring. Vectoring means that the laser is constantly on and it's following the path to do the cutout. Raster, on the other hand, is the laser is moving side to side as it goes across your material and it only fires as it goes across the spots that need an image or some kind of marking. So at this point, this is converted. So PDF, um, Clipping path, convert your line weights. I'll go to File Print. 
switch to the 1164 laser. We're going to, for media, we're going to click that. And at the time of this video, it's 11 L's on the keyboard. So if you push the letter L on your keyboard 11 times, it's going to take you to Legend 4848. That's what we're after. Um, I use the L button until I highlight it and I press enter. And then we go down here for placement and choose top left corner. You click that little box. And we're not doing anything else here. It should always say portrait, never scaling. And now we can go into the setup to finish up the settings for the printer. You may get a warning box or continuing. Uh, click continue to get to this window that popped up. And now I can go preferences. And here's our uh, user interface box for our laser. CO2 is the most common laser. Here's a big, big, big one. You want to autofocus and vector grid always. When you're cutting, and most of the time, the vector grid system is in the laser, so just make sure you're aware of that. If you're using rotary attachment, you would not use this. We would do a manual focus. Otherwise, all flat work, you're going to check these boxes. And you're going to tell it the thickness. If I'm making these out of wood, a quarter inch would be a nice thickness. Uh, always measure the wood to know how thick you're working with. Uh, if I was really doing the job there, I would leave it combined because my fonts would need to be rastered. The font setting happens to be about 7100. There's a chart to check everything. Engraved direction, bottom up is usually better. Vector setting for cutting. Oh, I would want for a quarter inch, you're going to have a speed of about two. Double click the box to make it faster. 100 and 10. Uh, again, double check the chart, confirm any of these settings. This is a demo video only. And when you have everything set up that you believe needs to be, we click OK. Go ahead and click print. And at this time, I would make sure my laser is on and ready. The filter for the laser is on. The air is on for the laser. So those three things, and when everything's ready to go, I can click print and send this job to the laser. And I would walk over to the laser. I would look for my file name. And as long as you're getting any kind of time that's over one second, you're going to be good to go. Press the go button on the laser and watch your objects get cut away or your images and decorations show up. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.